Short of spending months aboard an oceanographic research vessel, the best way to learn about the world ocean is with a good oceanography textbook. My favorite is Exploring the World Ocean by Sean Chamberlain and Tommy Dickey. Exploring the World Ocean introduces you to the interdisciplinary science of oceanography, the scientific study of the world ocean. Oceanography is an interdisciplinary science because it involves the combined efforts of geological, chemical, physical, and biological oceanographers. Oceanographers, of course, are the men and women who study the ocean. But before we get too far off the dock, so to speak, let's consider a few simple questions. What is the world ocean? What is oceanography? What kinds of things do oceanographers study? And how do they go about exploring the world ocean? I'm sure this book has the answers. Chamberlain and Dickey define the world ocean as all the waters contained in the world's oceanic basins. The idea of a world ocean, as opposed to several independent smaller oceans, comes from shipboard observations the waters of all the oceans intermix every 600 to 800 years. What's more, oceanographers have observed that the flow of currents in one part of the ocean can affect the flows in another. It's one big interconnected world ocean, as we shall learn. Oceanographers the men and women who study the world ocean are a diverse group. Few study oceanography as their major in college. Most are geologists, physicists, chemists, and biologists who have chosen to apply their specialized knowledge to the study of the world ocean. Because the world ocean is so complex, it requires the efforts of people with different backgrounds and diverse perspectives. For this reason, oceanography is considered an interdisciplinary science made up of a number of academic disciplines. In general, four major subdisciplines are recognized geological, physical, chemical, and biological oceanography. Studying the world ocean demands a lot of advanced technology. In fact, progress in oceanography can often be traced to new technological developments that allow oceanographers to observe the world ocean as never before. From satellites to electron microscopes, from robotic vehicles to stationary platforms, from sophisticated sensors to techniques for identifying DNA, the tools of an oceanographer's trade are revealing a world ocean far different than the one oceanographers pictured just a few decades ago.